Hello Cisco community. My name is Gillen and I'm working in Cisco Tech Data Center team. This video is about license management on NXOS platform that runs on MDS and Nexus switches. We will review license related terminology and then go through the rest of tasks. Host IDs it's a unique chassis serial number that is specific to each device. Product authorization key, or we call PAC, it allows you to obtain a license key file. Host ID and PAC are important elements to obtain license key file. License claim certificate, or proof of purchase, it's a document entitling its rightful owner to use licensed feature. Evaluation license. That's a temporary license, which is valid for a specific number of days. Grace period, the amount of time the feature in a licensed package can continue functioning without a license. Permanent license is a license that does not have time limitation. To obtain license, we need to find the host ID. This can be done by running the command show license host dash id and then find a pack from license claim certificate or proof of purchase now let's visit a product license registration web page the web address is www.cisco.com forward slash go forward slash license and on that website we can also transfer license Let's visit this web page. Put a pack number here and then click submit. Here the description of the license package. And then hit continue. The next step is to Put a host ID here. After finishing last step, you will receive license key file in email. That's for license registration. Let's talk about transfer license. In a situation where the chassis is replaced and the need to transfer license to a new chassis, you can visit the same web page here to obtain new license key file in email. Here the link to register an AMI license. We pick Cisco Nexus 5000 series of switches as an example. The host ID of defective switch and the pack number can be found in the license file you received previously, so it's necessary to backup license files. That's for transferring license. And now we are going to install license. Display license grace period. Update license. Verify license. And backup license. Let's install a license file. Looks like the host ID does not match. Let's compare the host ID. So the host ID in this license file is this one. Now what's the host ID on the switch? So they are different. Let's get a real one.
to install this license. And take a look of this installer license. So the license we installed is this one. It's installed. Yes. Never expire. So what's this one here? Grace period. We are going to talk about grace period license. Sometimes user would like to evaluate system features in lab environment. On NX OS, user can enable the feature without install license. And the system allows 120 days grace period before shutting down the feature. Let's enable a feature which requires enterprise license. Currently, enterprise license is not in enabled and not used, but has grace period approximately close to 120. The reason is that I have used that feature before and removed the feature. The feature we are going to enable is FCSP. So it changed from unused to in use. We have the permanent license on this system. Let's try to install that. As you can see here, there is no grace period anymore. Sometimes user need to use the update command to install permanent license. That is because previously admin has installed some evaluation license for this feature. The format is like that. We can use show license brief to look at the files. These are the two files installed on this switch. And also we can take a look at the content of this file. After installation, we may need to back up the files. The command is copy boot flash dftp Here are the commands to verify license show license host dash id and the show license usage are often used here. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.